Hey everybody, Retropie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Game Boy Color and regular Game Boy audio issues on Retropie. If you've gone and done an update recently, you may have experienced this issue where now your audio is no longer working. So I'm going to jump into a Game Boy Color game, just show you exactly what's going on here. Um, let it, let's go into 1942. That's a quick one to load up. So you'll notice there's absolutely no audio coming through here right now. Um, I will jump into a game and you'll see that there's just nothing going on at all here. I'm, you know, flying around, um, hitting the shoot button here. No audio whatsoever. So let's jump out of this. I'm going to show you there's two ways that we can go in and fix this. So you can see that audio works fine on all these video previews here. So the first option is, is we can change the emulator here. So let's go back into 1942, just so we keep the uh, demo the same here. And if you first get this little pop-up here and you hit A, right when you see that, you can go in here and you can actually change your emulator for all of your ROMs from this collection. So all the Game Boy Color ROMs, or you can do it individually for um, just this particular ROM. So either option works here. So we're gonna first go into um, the emulator here for all the Game Boy Color games. And if we select this option here, you can see we have two. Now the default is gonna be this LR um, game, game Bat. I'm not sure how you would say that, but um, that is the one that's not working. If we went down here to LR dash, looks like uh, NGBA, well, that could be an M, I'm not sure. Uh, if we go into that one though, and we make that selection here, and now we go down to launch, you're gonna find that your audio works now. So this is just an issue with that default emulator. So we'll let this load in and I'll show you that this now does work. So you can see there, everything's working perfectly fine. Now, if you don't want to go in and change your emulator by default, there's another way that we can do this to get that original default emulator working. So we're going to back out. We're going to jump over here to our RetroPie configuration settings. We're going to jump in here and go down to RetroPie setup. And now we're going to go into manage packages here, which is the third option down. And we're gonna go into manage main packages. So now we're gonna look for that emulator that was not functioning properly with the audio, which is right here, um, option 227 in this case, maybe a different number depending on your setup. So we are going to select that option here. And we will go into the first option, which is update from pre-built binary. We're gonna select that. Are you sure you want to update? We're going to select yes. And this is basically going to just reload this in. If it's um, outdated, it will update it to the newest version or it'll just re-download it for you. So now we can go back, back again, back again. And now once you back out to this page here, you'll see the last option here is perform reboot. It's always a good idea to reboot your system. Anytime you do any changes to any of the emulators or any settings at all on here, it's just good practice to go in and do a full reboot. So we're gonna go ahead and select reboot. It'll ask you to confirm, we're gonna hit yes. And we will come back to this once our system reboots. All right, now that we've rebooted our system, we're gonna go back over to Game Boy Color. And now this will work for Game Boy and Game Boy Color because they use the exact same emulators on here. So we are gonna go into, let's go into the same game. Now I do have to make that change to switch that emulator back because I did change it over to the other one. So you can see here I have that LR-NGBA. I'm gonna just switch that back over to the default one that was already on here, just to prove that updating does work. So we see here that it is changed back to that default emulator. We're gonna go down to launch, select launch. 
I will let this load in and we will see that our audio does now work. So we are good to go. We've got both of those emulators working perfectly in Game Boy Color. Same will be for Game Boy as well because they, again, use both of these same emulators here. So you can go either of these options here. Um, I don't think it's totally necessary to go in and do that update if you're perfectly fine, you know, just switching over the emulators in here. It's a quicker fix, but of course, going in and doing that update takes no time at all as well. So however you want to approach that, both options will work 100%. So hopefully this helped you out. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.